All right, y'all, so I think it's May 19th, I wanna say. I don't know, I'll double check when I grab my phone, but yeah. Man, guys, it's gonna be our maiden voyage on the Little Reaper, at least fishing-wise. I'm so excited. Um, it was gnarly last night, it was pouring rain, and then this morning it was overcast, howling out of the south. Right now it's blowing out of the west. It's got some kick to it, but we'll see. I got the trolling motor. This will be the first time running that. Uh, you can see I got plenty of rods. This is the rod I elected to pair up with that Daiwa spinning rod I showed you in that last, okay? In that last video. It's just a Tsunami Slim Wave. Uh, a little bit heavier duty than that one there. But at any rate, um, I got Bluefish bag with me. Just in case I see, you know, a bunch of mayhem, I got plugs to throw at them. I got two rods up top for that. All the fluke gear. And basically, guys, we're just going to be using my uh, my drop shot minnow technique today. And I plan to fish the afternoon outgoing tide. That uh, should be uh, should be the ticket. Right now, we're at we're only 57.6 back at my house. So we want that to jump up. Uh, two days ago, when I was running the boat. Um, it was about 60 uh, as the tide started going out. So that's kind of what we're shooting for. So um, let's get the engines purring. And then uh, we're going to go ahead. I'll grab my phone and we're out of here, baby. So one. Smooth as pie, baby. She is. Uh, she's ready to make her debut. Zach was out yesterday. It was nice enough to leave me some minnows. So, bring them with us. Yeah, Zach left me, I don't know how many, and then I went out and bought a pint. So, uh, and he did good yesterday. He had a nice 22. I think he released another short, and then uh, his girlfriend Kristen had a striper, actually. Um, I don't know how long he fished for, but yeah. All right, enough yapping. Let's grab my phone. I'll see y'all out there. All right, team, so we're at 54 degrees. 54 and change here in the inlet. Uh, again, I'm gonna run way back. That should pump up significantly. I want at least 58 to 60. Uh, see, you know, steady action this time of year. Again, it's my first time out, so who knows, but uh, just kind of going on memory patterns from years prior. Yeah, unfortunately, that west wind really kicked up hard. It's blowing every bit of 15, probably 15 to 20. Yesterday, no wind. I was working. All right, guys, already I'm so excited to fish this new boat. There's just so much more room. I mean, I just have room for like everything. It's not all crammed in. I got everything all spaced out. Uh, much more comfortable so far but anyway you know the fluke season's kind of interesting this year um, they made it a little bit longer but um, they did a really weird slot so I'm sure you guys all know it's 17 to 17.99 you get two of those and then one over 18 um, so I think it'll be good for fishing in the back I think you guys are gonna have an easier time catching their limit um, for me honestly though when I'm out on the racks I'm a little worried most of my keepers are, are well over 18 inches, so it might be hard to get, you know, or my slot fish out there, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, we'll see, see how it goes. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting back behind Brigantine, it's around 57.5, and the tide's uh, just about slack high now. I wanted to get out here and just get everything ready to roll before when that tide starts moving out. So um, we'll see, I'll stop yapping soon and get baits in the water. I'll probably chav you on my head unit. Let's get this, uh, Trolling motor rolling here for the first time ever. Let's see, um, water doesn't look terrible. All right, that's unlocked. Just kind of plop her in the water there. She locks in. Turn her on. Okay. Looks like we've got some. Oh yeah, she's going, baby. And again, what I can do is adjust just the height of you know, how far it's in, the shaft is in, but 
for what we're doing right now, this should be very sufficient. Um, definitely windy right here. Uh, trying to give away my spot. This isn't my spot, so uh, we'll see, guys. What I'm going to do again, I'm just going to be using live minnows, my little drop shot technique, and uh, I'll see if they're here. I'm so excited. Okay. Interest of not killing my back. I'm gonna put some in here. All right, first bait ever on the new boat. I'm in 12 foot of water here. Make sure my drag's good. Okay. All right, so again, guys, what I'm going to do is just leave the rods right in the rod holders, nothing crazy. And then what I'm going to do is use the trolling motor to combat the wind and the tide. And I'm going to control my drift. That's really about it. And the key with this technique, guys, is you got to be like straight up and down. All right? I mean, as little weight as possible, straight up and down. That's a bite. That's a fluke, guys. Woohoo! There it is, baby. First fish on the new little reaper. Get in here, you devil. Hey, you're the first fish on the new little reaper. Hey, handsome. Hi, aren't you pretty? You barely hooked, you'll be just fine. Your little guy, huh? Yes, first fish. Yes, yes, first fish. All right, cool, guys. Now we know um, this pattern works. We know there's some fish here, so now it's just all about just fine tuning our drifts and uh, getting that pattern dialed even more. We'll see here, but that felt good. Get a fish. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep that speed as low as possible but still kind of ding and bottom. So these fish can sometimes be a little, a little lethargic this time of year. So, you, you know, um, you almost kind of got to hit them on the head a little bit sometimes, I always say. There we go, guys, there we go. Stay glued. Feels half decent. Oh yeah, let's keep her. All right, where's my net? That's a nice one, actually. Oops. Yeah, that's one, baby. Yep, uh, 19. Okay. Let's see, barely hooked them. All right, Reaper team, that is our first fish on the new boat. All right, team, so that is the first fish on the new little Reaper. So excited. 19 inch fluke. Let's bleed him out. I'll put him on ice. So excited, guys. That's one, baby. All right. Not sure if I caught that or not. Just released one just under 17. Seems like they're starting to wake up here, so let's see. All right, team, so the temp's bumped up to about 58.3. So it should get even warmer, you know? Um, I got plenty of other spots I want to try, so give this a little bit longer. Um, it's up, we're getting a couple bites, so I need to just stick it out. That was like a decent one. Mm -mm. That's another close one, guys. So our fourth fish, I think. I don't even know. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll be 17 all day. Won't even be too big. Right at 17, baby. Look at that. 17 inches on the dot. Now, some people say you gotta pick them up and put them on the on the actual measure. All right, we'll do that for y'all. Okay, hold on, baby. And I got you in the eye. Oh man, sorry, baby. Put them right in the eye. A little bit. Right at 17. There you go, guys. 17 inches on the dot. He's a keeper. Especially since he lost an eye. All right, guys. That's two. So 19 and right at 17. Um, I just had another one that was 16. Uh, I had turned off the GoPro. So one more, guys. What I'm doing here, I'm using this controller and that trolling motor to make this annoying windy day 
if I didn't have any of this, very fishable and very productive. Uh, I'm literally just sitting back there, controlling my drift, staying along one little drift line, and letting the minnows and the and the rigs do their their work. Um, again, I know I'm not sitting there bucktailing, but this is so productive, especially when it's windy and tough like this. So let's keep at it. We just got one more fish, and then we got our limit. I think we have five or six fish. I'm not sure. Kind of been slacking on the GoPro, but yeah, let's keep keep fishing here. Need it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They are biting team. Hey, the little handsome guy. Hey, come on. Gotta get down there, baby. Righty. Alright guys, there's another one. Another one coming up. This might be my limit right here. I'm just gonna scoop him right in. He's gonna be close. Oh yeah, he's biting it. He's biting it. I got you. I got you. That's a little one. That's a little one. He's got a little bigger. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. This might be our limit here. I don't know. He might actually be too big. We'll see. Come on, baby. Come on. Come to Papa. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. So cool. I, I bet you that one's gonna be right at 18, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see. He's right around 17.99, maybe. That's it guys, we're done. He's probably right at 17.99. Okay, that's it. We're done. Unreal. So the Tarova is uh, manual deploy and, you know, stow. Um, I did like the Altera. I didn't have to, all I had to do was hit a button and it would come up, but uh, hey, it is what it is. So let's turn this off, stow that. I probably would imagine I gotta get up here, but it's not the end of the world. Hit that little, put your foot down there. Bring her up. Oops, oops, oops. Ah. Yeah, mildly annoying. And that'll be annoying out in the seas, but hey, that is what it is. And what we'll do is put it right on the old storage unit here. I gotta tighten that up. And uh, away we go. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yeah, so let's go figure out what other kind of trouble I can get into now. What I want you to see here too is look at my tracks. That's it. I mean, that's like not even a tenth of a mile stretch where I caught those fish. Right between seven and, well, it was really the magic number was 10 and 12 foot. The, and look, the temp jumped up to almost 60 degrees. So that was the pattern day, baby. So it's 3.30, uh, we caught that fluke limit so quick, I was like, well, what the hell, you know? It's not gonna take me all afternoon to prep for sea bass tomorrow. So, I'm not typically one for spring stripers. It's probably my biggest weakness. Um, yes, I know the Raritan, yes, I know. I have no desire to go up there, nor will I ever, I don't think. Um, but that being said, it's been a decent bite. Uh, in Atlantic City for a little while and breaking team. So I'm gonna head up front, see if I can find some bunker, or I may just uh, drift some eels or soak some clams. I haven't decided yet, um, but it's beautiful out. The wind's west, we're temps up to 60 in my lagoon. Just gonna go goof off for a little bit. It's too nice to sit inside and do nothing. So I'll see y'all out there.
Yeah, nice bass. Nice bass, guys. So funny how he bit it. He was like barely, barely like nibbling at it. It's probably my fourth bite. All right, this fish going back. So cool. Look at you, look how pretty you are. Come on, girlfriend. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge here. That's for sure. All right, come here, girl. How am I gonna get you? Come on. Come on, baby. Nice fish. Got her. Okay. All right, guys. Now, get the fish in the boot. Oh, oh. she's big. She's big. Okay. All right. She's big. Come on, baby. Let's get you back, huh? Let's get you back. Um, barely had her hooked. This fish will be just fine, guys. Whoa. Mama Sita. Yeah, baby. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Beautiful. Let's get her back. Beautiful. Oh, come on, baby. Let's get you back. Look how pretty. What a first day. What a first day. <laughs> Man, what a bite. Come on. Ready? Oh yeah, huh? Come on. You ready? All right, ready? Go, baby, go. Kick off. Yes. Guys, unbelievable. What a first day on the new little reefer. Oh my goodness. That was a big old striper. I hope I got it. I don't know. Who cares? That was so fun. Woo! All right, so I'm still kind of trying to get, you know, the whole new boat down where I'm going to put the GoPros. So it's not always on my head, but we'll, uh, we'll get it wired. We need lots more rod holders, lots more everything. It's wild, team. You know that, that fish, it was like tap, 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 tap. It felt like a fluke nibbling or something. Really weird. And then uh, just kind of woke up once he got in the tide. So in retrospect, those other two, three bites were probably all stripers, honestly. It's biting really weird. Normally with clam, they just unload on it. Anyway, all right, fish a little longer. All right, y'all, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did. That was awesome. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hopefully get some sleep tonight. 35 miles that way. Well, between 15 and 35 miles that way. Hopefully for sea bass in uh, just a couple hours. So I'll see y'all then.